just finished watching our math antics video over the multiplication of two digit numbers. We talked about it yesterday, but we need to make sure we can actually do it today. Chandler, look up here, put that down. All right, so I have us a poster that we can use while we're going through the process. If we get confused, I'll hang it up when we get finished with this, or so whatever you're working on, you can refer back to it. But this just lists our steps. Remember, if it's given to you, like this, what is the first thing you need to do to solve it? You need to stack them on top of each other. And which digit do we put on the top? The larger number, the biggest number, absolutely. Even if it's two digit, it would, just so we're all doing the same thing, put whichever number is greater. If they're both two digit, just put the larger one up top, okay? And that, to find the larger one, you go to the greatest place and determine which one is larger. Yes, Holly? Yesterday, we tried You'll still get the same thing. That's the thing with multiplication and addition. It doesn't matter which one is up top. You'll come up with the same answer. But just to make sure we're all on the same page, you put the largest one up top. Now, when you're talking two by two, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything when we sit up. But if you're talking three by two, you really don't want to put that three digit on the bottom, OK? All right, so what we're going to do to start today since we started this yesterday, is we are going to just start and jump in with some practice problems from page 144 that you're all looking at. If you don't have page 144, you have your own paper and you're going to work it out there. And when we break into our groups, you'll just get with somebody who has it, okay? All right, let's look at number one. I am going to say every step as I solve this one, and you all are going to help me with numbers two or three, okay? All right, so I have 11 times 23. The first thing I do when I have 11 times 23 is, I'm gonna walk you through this one. I say three, you can get a pencil. Three times one is three. Three times one is three. Okay, now I'm gonna move down. I have to add my zero, and I do the exact same steps with my number in the tens place. Two times one is two. Two times one is two. Now remember, it's very important to make sure all of your digits are lined up with the proper place. That way when you go to add, you don't get confused or add the wrong number. So now I say zero, zero plus three is three, two plus three is five, and then I bring down my two, so the answer is 253. If you already completed that on your paper, check to make sure you got the correct answer and all of your steps are correct. All right, Jason. Help me, Jason Powell. Tell me the first thing I do with 54 times 41. This is number two on your papers. And Avia, did you do number one? Is that correct? Very good. All right, Jason, what do I do? Is? Okay, then? Good. What do I do next, Jason? Perfect. Now? What do I do? Carry my one. Very good. And then? Now, Jason, what? I'm not done yet. I can add my comma. What do I do now? Add. Okay.